Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another best and worst of video and today we're going to cover the brand Dermaco. Now what I'm going to do is basically show you my laptop screen right now and I have the Dermaco website pulled up. So we're going to see which um, products basically um, are there on the Dermaco website and which ones I love, which ones I don't love as much and I'm going to share with you like my overall reviews and thoughts on them so that's what this video is going to be about um in case you're interested please keep on watching and let me know what your favorite dermaco product is and what your least favorite dermaco product is down below in the um, comment section but yes without any further ado let's jump right into it now i do want to mention one thing that i do not like about the dermaco website is the way like everything is set up essentially i mean you have shop by ingredients you have shop by concern could you just make like a like a product category like shop by category because it is so difficult to find any specific category like if i'm like what are all the face moisturizers that dermaco has i have no place to go you know so um we could go into like all products basically and we'll go through it that way um so there are a lot of combos over here which we're gonna obviously skip i'm gonna talk about individual products the first thing that i see over here is the sally um, cinnamide anti acne serum now this is one that I have and I kind of have my thoughts on it basically it's not my absolute favorite but I don't dislike it either it's basically a serum that has salicylic acid and niacinamide in it and I think it's a really good product but it says fight acne fights acne fades acne marks I want to let you know I've not observed any of those two things with this specific product but if you want a nice serum that's gonna maintain your skin overall um it's a great one that you can check out but don't buy this thinking that it's going to either get rid of your acne or get rid of your acne marks neither of those things are gonna happen so um yeah let's um let's go ahead the page is gonna take a while to load probably now we have their two percent um niacinamide bb cream over here which is yeah it is it's visible now this black tube that you see so this is one that i've actually purchased um i used it a few times but um i'm personally a not a bb cream person and b i think if you have really oily skin this is one that you're not gonna like maybe if you have dry skin you might like this but for me personally i will put this in my worst of dermaco video because i did not enjoy it at all like at all at all at all just did not like it um, another product that I see that I recognized also, uh, I don't know why this is labeled under new launch. I don't think even this uh, BB cream is a new launch. I, I sometimes don't understand how Dermaco like labels their products, packaging. Um, like certain times they just have certain new launches on the website but they never speak about it on their social media or anything. I don't understand that aspect a lot of times but any which ways let's not digress so the two percent vitamin e hydrating body serum lotion i've actually used this it's a pretty map product in my opinion i would kind of put it in the worst of video as well just because it was so 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 underwhelming it was not hydrating it was definitely like more of a serum less of a lotion because it was very 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 thin and it almost felt like nothing um you know on the skin so it didn't do anything for me it says treats dry skin i don't agree with that at all i have normal skin on my body it didn't even help at all in making it more supple or more hydrated so that's an easy skip um for me personally okay so this page loads then we can yeah we can talk about some more products the pore minimizing priming sunscreen they call it a bestseller i'm not sure if i agree with that but i will let you know i absolutely did not like this product either it was one that was very very um i would say too hydrating almost oilyish kind of on my skin I think other people who have oily skin have liked it but I have personally hated it and I don't even have super oily skin I think my skin is more um, normal combination nowadays but this was just a mess it did not blend well onto my skin at all and yeah it was just not good then we have the 1% hyaluronic acid um, sunscreen aqua gel now this is the tube packaging which I haven't personally um, 
you know purchased or used i have the airless pump packaging uh, one that i have used personally and i absolutely love that sunscreen i think no matter what skin type you have you will absolutely love it it does work even when my skin was more oily i used it and i absolutely loved it the only thing that i don't love about it is that uh, if you put it on you have to kind of wait for it to dry uh, before you put on makeup so i don't mean it's like greasy or dewy or anything on the skin but if you go into putting like a loose powder all over your face after you put the sunscreen on it's going to kind of cake up in that sense so either you wear it on no makeup days or you have to like wait for the sunscreen to set down and dry down completely on the skin and then you can go in with makeup so that's the only one thing that i would say apart from that i love this sunscreen and uh, i think it's a great great product i don't know why this nice and bb cream is loved by so, so many people if you've used it i would actually want to know what your thoughts are on it yeah. this one the uh, the airless pump packaging that you can see for the hyaluronic acid sunscreen this is the one that i have uh, used and tried personally i really do like that packaging i don't know much about the tube packaging if that's going to be nice or not they have the nice and my gentle skin cleanser this looks interesting see as it's a new launch it might be i like that the packaging kind of resembles cerave a little bit but um, i've not had a great experience with dermaco face washes in general okay so this is the hyaluronic acid invisible sunscreen which i haven't used by the way this is different uh, what else do we have I will say a lot of Damaco products I haven't tried just because I don't I don't necessarily feel like I would even like them. I don't want to just try out something and then give it a mere view and be like, "Oh, people ask me to try it out, so I'm trying it and reviewing it and telling you I don't like it." Uh if it's not my preference, it's pretty obvious I'm not going to like it. Again, why is this mentioned as a new launch? This product has been around for like 2 3 years. It's the one percent collagen daily face serum cream. I love, love, love this product. It is the most lightweight, creamy, yet lightweight like moisturizer. It's amazing. I think for the oily skin people and for summer time, this is going to be an amazing, amazing, amazing moisturizer. I wish it was a little cheaper. It's five ninety nine, which is not too too bad. But um, yeah, if if you waited for like a buy one get one. Uh, definitely check it out. It's it's a great product. Um, I really really enjoy it. When I had it, I planned to repurchase it, but then I'm like, it's a little too much money, more than I would want to spend. Um, again, the Kojic Acid Daily Glow um, Body Serum Lotion, um, same as the Vitamin E. I didn't notice a difference between the Kojic Acid, the Vitamin E, and even the Salicylic Acid one. Uh, they have three variants. I'm sorry, I'm losing my voice a little bit. So they also have the Kojic Acid 2% face cream over here. This is, I guess, a duo uh, of two. Um, I'm sure even if you wanted to buy one, it might be somewhere lower on the page. Um, this is an amazing product. Great if you have hyperpigmentation. It will actually treat your hyperpigmentation. It saves that over here. I do agree with it. I will definitely uh, agree with that. And I feel like if you have drier skin, maybe normal to dry skin, go for this one. They also have one more variant, which is their three percent kojic acid gel. That's better for oily skin. Once I spot it, I will let you know. Then again, um, kojic acid uh, body. Why? Why is it labeled two times? It's way or not? This is the duo, and then here they have only one. Okay, got it. Then uh, here is another combo of two, uh, which is on twenty five percent off apparently. Okay, now this mattifying 100% mineral powder. I want to let you know this is actually on my face right now. I've been filming since morning, and it is currently 2:30 right now. So I actually used this to kind of like mattify my face a little bit because I felt like I am, my skin is looking a little bit shiny throughout the day. So I used this actually to mattify my skin a little bit, and it actually works pretty well for that specific purpose. Even though it's a sunscreen powder. I've never used it for that specific reason uh because I do feel like this can get a little bit messy in your bag so um I actually don't carry it with me on the go but I do use it during filming 
yeah this is the one i'm talking about again this is also labeled as a new launch i seriously don't understand this but um, yeah i wouldn't recommend any of the body serum lotions from dermaco then um, moving on moving on moving on what else do we have a lot of these products i've honestly not tried yes this is the one i was talking about again see this is also labeled as a new launch it's not but this is the 3% kojic acid dark spot gel the gel version is better for oily skin again this is also super duper effective i have this in my collection also right now i repurchased it recently then um, a lot of combos okay another product i love from the dermaco it's their 2% salicylic acid spot treatment gel amazing product if you have acne uh, again i own this currently also and this is my favorite uh, like salicylic acid product at the moment if i suddenly start breaking out i will just use this at night uh, as my first step and then i'll just put on a moisturizer on top and go to bed and i think two or three days you use it continuously and your breakouts will just completely go away so i love it i always need to have it on hand because it's really 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 good a lot of the serums i haven't actually used now that i'm noticing from dermaco um okay let's quickly talk about these the c cinemide radiant sunscreen is basically um the hyaluronic acid sunscreen uh, but with the goodness of vitamin c and niacinamide which is amazing and then this is another sunscreen the 2% halocalamine hydrating sunscreen i also really really love i actually wore it today i've recently repurchased also uh again beautiful product i think if you have oily skin um normal skin combination skin even slightly dry skin i think you will really really like it it is one that initially when you start applying can look a little bit too white but it actually blends in very very well into the skin and it's really nice i think it's the only product from this calamine range that they have that i do actually like but um, yeah that's a great sunscreen as well i think they have come out with more shades in the bb cream which is why i'm seeing it so so many times okay this is the c cinemide radiant serum i think i didn't cover this before so let's talk about it now uh, as compared to the salicinamide i would actually prefer this one because this has again your um, two active ingredients in one it's got vitamin c and it's got niacinamide and this is actually a product that again just use it you know as a feel good um, skincare product that's going to be um, helpful for your skin basically because it's got um, you know the brightening benefits of vitamin c it's got the niacinamide it's not going to uh, definitely make your skin glow i kind of agree with because that's subjective but reduces dark spots i wouldn't necessarily agree with that but um, a lot of times we use vitamin c serum separately niacinamide serum separately and then sometimes you have to pick and choose acha which one should i use should i use this or should i use that so with these kind of serums i would i like to use them because they combine like two active ingredients in one so it simplifies your skincare routine in that way which i really really like again kojic acid cream we covered earlier now this one let's talk about this 1% salicylic acid oil free daily moisturizer now we saw quite a few as if you notice when i was scrolling there were a lot of these uh, moisturizers but i did not try any one um, any of the other ones out because this one did not work for me it was again one of those um you know very creamy but it sat really weird on the skin similar to the pore minimizing priming sunscreen it didn't get absorbed into the skin this one also didn't get absorbed into the skin it was really 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 weird like the consistency wise it was not thick like super thick it was actually more lotiony liquidy but it still did not get absorbed into my skin and sat like really weird on top of my skin so that's why i didn't like it at all and because i didn't have a good experience with this i don't feel like even repurchasing or like purchasing any other moisturizer to try out the only one that i actually liked was the collagen one that i told you the one in the airless pump that was the only one that i liked um I think we are nearing towards the end because now everything that I see is basically like sold out, sold out, out of stock. Um, that way, but let me just quickly see if there's anything else. I think this AHA BHA cleanser I have used. No, I think I used a different one. It was the Milky cleanser or something. I think that's discontinued now because we didn't see it anywhere. 
no i think yeah it was this one was it this one i mean this is a kit but uh, one person ceramide complex milky jelly daily cleanser i think this was the one the kit has been discontinued i'm not sure about uh, whether that specific product is sold as an individual or not any which way i didn't like it so would not recommend that but um, yeah i guess those were all the products was it are these all the products i think so so um, yeah that was that that was it for this video it was really um, enjoyable to film it like this i think because i pulled up all the products together to show you and like share with you but i think finding anything otherwise on their website is pretty difficult at least for me personally let me know if you have the same experience or if you disagree with me and you find it to be like super simple to to navigate for products on the dermaco website but uh, yes i think dermaco does have some good products and a lot of times when they come out with certain new launches i do get excited and i think when we talk about the honasa parent company and all the brands that are under the honasa parent umbrella um like honasa is the parent company and then under that umbrella out of all the brands that are there i think dermaco is probably one of my favorites uh and i have most number of favorites from dermaco as well so um yeah i'm going to continue to buy from them but um i'm also very selective to sticking to my favorites and i don't try too to many new launches from them and that being said i don't think they launch a crazy amount of products either i think they're pretty good as compared to some other brands that launch a lot of stuff so yeah anyway guys that is it that is it for the video i hope that you enjoyed and like i said earlier definitely make sure to let me know your thoughts down below uh on your favorites least favorites and the products i also mentioned today which i have tried out personally let me know if you have also tried out some of these products have you had a similar experience or a different experience i would love to know but uh, yeah that's it for this video thank you so 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 much for watching until next time